Welcome to our home. I'm Patrice. We are a family of six and we live in New York City, an apartment in New York City, and we live in about 1,100 square feet. So we really do our best to maximize the space that we have available and let all our things fit. Part of the challenge of living in New York City is storage. You don't have an outdoor shed or garage for things like bikes and all sorts of things that need storage. So you have to come up with creative ways to fit your whole life in the small space that you're working with. So here we are, we're at the entrance and it's labeled door. In case anybody was wondering what that was. Here at the front, we have IKEA storage and there are boxes here that we keep our shoes in. Uh, our current season shoes, as off season go into one of the two closets that we have. Um, and on the floor is where <laughs> shoes gather as we come in and out. As you see, there's already a lineup right now. On top of the shoe storage, we have pantry overflow. Now, this is not the world's best setup for <laughs> pantry overflow. And actually, my husband had a great idea of adding another IKEA storage just like this on top and then that these boxes that where I store things like our oatmeal, rice, flour can go into those boxes. So hopefully that'll I'll get around to actually doing that sometime soon. Also in our doorway we have bike storage. Uh, so we have the e-bike that hangs out here and a regular bike that is hung because it's a good way to keep a bike in an apartment and you'll find that in a lot of New York City apartments bikes are Hung. And as we enter the apartment, we have the piano slash drop things when you come up, come in. This is always a challenge to keep clear because naturally you come in, you throw down your keys, you drop your bag, you throw down the mail, and it um it often does not look like this. But I'm doing my best to try and keep it like this. I am like the probably the biggest offender for letting this be a drop zone for everything when I come through the door. But it's actually a piano. When you clean it off, you see that it's good for playing music. <laughs> As we follow through from the piano, we actually have hanging storage here where we hang shopping bags and balls and outdoor playing equipment. You have bike helmets, sweatshirts. Most of the off-season coats have already been put away, but things tend to linger sometimes. Like I see some vests there and it's, you know, 86 Fahrenheit today. I don't think anybody needs a vest, but we also have, what do you call them? Scooters, scooters hanging, scooters hiding underneath jackets. We kind of stick them in this corner here <laughs> and a dustpan, of course, randomly, because why not? From the entryway music area, we come into the rest of the apartment, the living space. Um, so this is the living, dining, kitchen, the great room, if you will, of our apartment. Um, here you will find where we keep the child storage. On this area here, we call it a couch. And this is where we store our children for a fair amount of the time in the day. <laughs> they like to hang out here and play Legos and read books and watch movies. Hey, I'm funny to somebody in this world. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to hold the camera steady so I can let laugh. So don't make it hard on me because it's hard as it is. Right. So, um, over here we have the TV hung and it's on a swivel so it can turn any which way. Sometimes in the morning everybody wants to do yoga with me so we move the coffee table out and we lay out all the uh, yoga mats in this very awkward configuration and fit me and three, usually three children, doing yoga at the same time here. We can turn the TV out and everyone can see it. Book storage, library books on top, our books on the bottom, and pantry overflow. You know, I have onions and <laughs> potatoes down here because, you know, you just put things where you <laughs> find a spot for them. And we also have sun hats, caps, hats, the like in a basket down here. Here we have additional pantry overflow that is not super well organized, so I won't open it, but there's, you know, like canned, canned goods, bottled, jarred vegetables and stuff like that that we keep in here. As we move back towards this way, the dining room 
table that seats five, but we fit six. <laughs> the chair from the computer area swings on over to the dining table when we need everyone at the table. Um, so we have the computer area where the kids do work when they need to, their schoolwork or otherwise. Um, that's their zone. Pretty small kitchen. Um, good point, you can. Uh, storage is minimal. Like these drawers aren't even actual drawers. They don't open. It's just, you know, for decoration. So there are actually only two drawers. And cabinets below, cabinets above, and a simple kitchen. I have a few ninja products. <laughs> this is a good friend for pretend barbecuing in the summer and in the winter, really. Or other ninja exits over here. Stove and refrigerator and stores for random things on top. <laughs> we don't need to talk about. Here is where the portable, now it's a dishwasher, but it's portable. It's actually only 18 inches wide. So it's a smaller to a full size dishwasher that gets loaded and rolled over to the sink at the end of the evening to wash the dishes. Just to finish out this area, um, it's uh, the coffee station, which is also a random storage location for things that are missing a home, <laughs> like pencils and markers. Because I have my, usually up here, we have kind of our a list of homeschool things to do for the day. Yeah. And there are always yeah. markers standing by, yeah. so yeah. yeah. So that uh, kids can mark off what they've get, gotten done throughout the day. But, you know, it's erased yeah. for today. Yeah. Up here we have these shelves that we got at Ikea, which have gone through several apartments, in fact. We just keep taking, this, taking them with us wherever we go because they're super handy. And so we have extra storage for large pots and such. Um, and it's all actually very convenient. The things I get used a little less often are at the top, but I just grab the stool that always sits handy nearby to get those things. Um, and I, I love that. I just forgot to mention this door here. There's actually four rooms outside of the living area. So this one is a de dedicated office space where my husband works when he's working from home. So we'll just go peek in there. This is his work zone. It is fun that there is an exercise bike in here, which I use early in the morning when he's not <laughs> in here. Okay, so in here we have our one and only bathroom. It's small, it's cozy, but we make it work. Um, we added shelves from Ikea that we have up here, and I'll show you one just behind Gil in just a second. That we brought also from our previous apartment. <laughs> previous apartments, these things have traveled around and have served as well. I, I did that. I built it myself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that he did. So we have high ceilings in here. So I built that. Yeah. So storage of high wow. is uh, something we take advantage of. Yes, sweetie. We take advantage of often. So Gil did build this shelf, and this is where we keep our toilet paper. I have paper towel and other various uh, bathroom items. Just behind me here, you'll see we have our washer, our little uh, portable washing machine, which is great, uh, lifesaver, our shower. Um, which is next to our washer. And there's the other storage that we have up here, things falling off, um, that we also got at Ikea and have dragged around New York City with us. So now we're entering the teenage space, but every room in this apartment is multi-purpose <laughs> because it just has to be. Um, this used to be my office, but as our children have grown, I've had to move one out of the kids' room uh, so this is where Ethan hangs for now um, until I have to figure out where I'm putting my, <laughs> my little girl and then probably end up jamming all the boys back together. In here we have like extra blankets stored and uh, towels and off-season clothes. There's shoe storage as well, I think. Yes, there are definitely shoes in there because my husband loves and shoes. And pillow and a pillow. Say what I love. And shoes, because my husband loves shoes. Although he'll tell you he doesn't. But deep, deep down inside, pretty sure he really likes shoes. But that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We all have our thing. <laughs> okay, so... I thought I liked 
the guitar. Oh, right. Then there's the guitar collection. <laughs> this is a new one. This is an addition for the kids. The, the What is it? A half quarter? Half. Half. Half size guitar. The kids to learn on. And Ethan's Lego creation. Quite beautifully done. I don't know. Four seasons and 12 feet. What are you going to do? <laughs> and you don't have like a mud room or anything, so you just, they go where they go. I also have like homeschool supplies up here. Yeah, also in the other cupboard and up top, there's some more like blankets and pillows stored. And um, I think it's like some games and board games and stuff. Yeah. So a fun thing about this apartment is that there are only three closets. None of the rooms have closets. In this closet, we have coat storage and shoe storage hats and mitts and boots and boots everything's in there this little guy here is just uh it's the linen sheets, closet sheets towels yeah sheets Gloves. and towels and such so not very well folded don't show my mom okay don't tell her i didn't do a very good I job she's gonna see a video okay well then i guess my secret's out <laughs> and then the second closet is we just we have also off-season clothes and uh artwork from the children that i unsuccessfully tried to get off. Hand me downs, hand me ups, hand me rounds. <laughs> they all go in that closet there too. One other fun thing is, again, we added more storage above. Uh, added a shelf up here so that we could store other things. There are additional toys we have, you know. Just... I built it! I'm in competition. I built it! With a three-year-old. You built it? Yeah. Okay, you and Abba built it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I really love See, there are duffel bags and such, and, and, a, and a saxophone, because, you know. Which is my mom's. Everybody needs to have a saxophone. <laughs> okay, and here we are in the parents' bedroom. It's a wonderful place to be, but it also very much multi-purpose zone, um, because it just has to be. So when you first come in, Besides the clothes hanging behind me, let's ig ignore that little disaster happening there. It's not there. It's not there at all. There aren't that many clothes hanging there. We have a bookshelf here that houses everything from homeschool supplies, books for school, uh, different manipulatives, math manipulatives, <laughs> art supplies, beginner reading books. Um, my books, I get one shelf and it doesn't fit. I need to add some shelving, which... That is, where's my shelf? You don't get one in here. You have an entire office. <laughs> you don't get a shelf. Okay. You don't get a shelf. All right. You see that? <laughs> I don't get a shelf. Uh, here are the, more of the kids' books, the ones that uh, I, I tend to want to protect so they don't go out to the living room. <laughs> this is like an in and out. I want to, it's like you, you have to check it out <laughs> of the library. It's, I don't know that it works so well, such a system, but. I try. Down below I have music books, all sorts of sheet music and reference books, dictionaries, bibles, <laughs> you name it. <laughs> it's down there. An emergency medicine instruction book in case of the apocalypse. I'm ready guys. This is just, you know, every homeschooler has, almost every homeschooler has this rolling cart because it's just, it works. There's a reason we all have it. Now we come over to the work zone. That speaks for itself. The keyboard, the speakers, the mic. <laughs> <laughs> and the desk, which, you know, has a lot going on here. I even have, like, pantry, pantry storage. storage down below. Let's not show that too, too much of that. There's also, like, big reference Wait, books. Desk? Yeah. <laughs> big reference books that, are, that don't fit on the bookshelf that go down there. Every master bedroom, every main bedroom needs a bicycle to block getting to <laughs> your clothing yeah that's sort of not super convenient but because of the way the bike the the what do you call that i haven't found a good you know something to hang it on it also has the seat at the back hey if you know of a bike hanging rack whatever you call it because i don't have words anymore right now that would suit that kind of frame hit me up let me know throw a message in the comments i would love to know because this is not cool. <laughs> I'm not feeling this. So anyway, so we have the armoire where I have all my clothes. And he also doesn't get a shelf. And on top I have hair supplies, sewing supplies, <laughs> makeup supplies, accessories, and right next to Gil is the dryer. Apparently this is another child's storage location, although <laughs> there's our bed and it's a king size because you know, thunderstorms and a bunch of kids. Sometimes you're just not sleeping alone. Six people. <laughs> no, I don't go. 
I don't go. Just wanted to point out that I keep a nice little basket for like workout stuff in the morning. If uh, I do have a friend in bed, like my toddler here, who comes in the middle of the night sometimes, and I'm trying to exit quietly, I can just take my exercise clothes. If I need yoga blocks or a thing, I can take the whole thing. Okay, so here we are in the kids' room. Now, um, there's a lot going on in here because, you know, it used to be four kids, three kids in here right now. Always working on revamping how everything is stored because it's clothing storage, it's toy storage, it's everything. Oh, look, there are children here again. Surprise, surprise. Here we have the bunk beds. The biggest little one, <laughs> Micah, is up here. Ariel is down here. And we have the trundle bed down here. So we just tuck his stuff in in the day. We tuck his bed away so there's more floor space for playing. Clothes no, no, storage no. over here, bike storage over there. <laughs> those used to actually be up against the wall. Things that was holding them yeah, broke. Those. And then we have the toddler bike hanging out up there. We have the toys, which I try to get cleaned up nicely. <laughs> Pretty well, I mean, it's not perfect. We have I tried to... my Lego. Yes, you did. The storage boxes, Ikea, of course. Thank you so much for joining us on our home tour. We hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along and uh, have you join us. We'll see you again soon. Okay.